cameras, and action. So as I said, that's like one of the last ones that I'm going to have to do. You guys are all assigned. Do I want to do anything with you? Let's put you in the army. Tell you, to, tell you to start training. Come on, all 14. Thank you. Start training. And you know what you can actually do in the meantime? I will tell you to uh, what counts as hungry. You there, there, and does that count as hungry? I think it does. Let's go. Yeah, you count as hungry, I think. Change that. Controller, you just yeah. Yeah, I'm getting resistance there, so let's put some divisions there. I'll tell you guys to not worry about all things like that. I'll tell you just to do um, resistance control. As I said, really, this war against Japan couldn't mean any less to me. That's coming along. Another 500 points. Very joined allies. You go ahead and do that then. I don't mind at all. Alright. Anything I can do too? I suddenly got unassigned divisions. Ah, that's right, because you're my integrated puppet now. And when they're an integrated puppet, any of their new divisions are automatically yours. So, as you'll see here, we've got his little flag, so we know that he's Italian. Um, you know, part of me's going, do I even bother keep doing research? But I'm like, eh, might as well. It takes up a bit of time, you know. Ah, uh, forward observers, that's fine. Let's just keep that rolling. A lot of these things are, I just don't need anymore, and it's like I'm just waiting for the days to tick over. Training, yeah, keep going. Keep watching this. So, the other bit I need is actually um, 300 political power to finalise the annexation. So, it looks like I'm going to have to wait for that. Maybe I shouldn't have spent those extra... Um, 150 points on the uh, Chief of Industry dude, but it is what it is. So, I suppose for any of you watching, um, after I finalise this achievement, um, are you wanting to sort of stick around and keep watching more of this game with a bit of a just general playthrough, or um, I've got some other games I could uh, bring up and you just can watch that. So feel free to let me know in chat. And, um, yeah. here and twiddle your thumbs for a while and wait for it to finish. Couple of divisions waiting there. Yeah, alright. Well, um, I suppose then I'll let you have a bit of a vote on uh, what country you'd like to see me play as next. Um, in saying that, I've played as practically every country in this game. I do have a bit of a tendency to um, enjoy playing the mages, um, but yeah, you know, like we could do like um, maybe the Austria-Hungary thing. Um, I could probably uh, show you how some of the other achievements are meant to go, despite the fact that I've now completed every one of them. Well, not exactly yet, but I'm nearly there. You can see it's it's all within sight. There's the encryption. Despite the penalty, I'm going to go ahead of time because I couldn't care less. Uh, how are we going with? Well, I really don't need... To, uh, do I need... Do I, you know what? I won't need that anymore. Um, 
and I'll let these ones keep building just single one and then I will just cancel off a whole bunch of extra um, okay hold up let's get rid of all of that that looks good keep rolling for now and by cancelling them any national focuses I'm going to get my um, political power up a lot quicker playing as Belgium hmm that is it's going to be an interesting one to pull off still I think I can do it um, so what are you thinking? Sort of stick diplomatic and um, join in with the Allies or go like, uh, if I was going to go with either fascism or communism, I think that it would be fa uh, communism, mainly because I can get some extra boosts from um, the fact that I'd be uh, a neighbour of Germany and uh, people would uh, very quickly change over. And that way I can be like, you know what, let's do a fight against uh, the Netherlands. Take them out, along with Luxembourg. Once I've taken them out, I could even push down into Paris. Yeah, there's um, yeah, various choices I can go with. Alright, yeah, well I'll do it as, um, as Belgium and for the moment I'll leave it as a bit of a surprise as to uh, which way I'm gonna go yes I was leaving that blank now this is nearly there 56 more political power so that's what 27 days left 22 21 So, uh, part of me is thinking I haven't actually eaten my dinner yet, so um, what I might do once this particular um, uh, run is completed, um, I'll take like a half hour break, go grab myself some food, and then uh, come back and keep going. So close, so close. Why are they getting... You've contributed war score. Ah, uh, you must be over here helping against Japan. Socialist Republic of Germany, eh? Hey? Italian Union, yeah, for three, one. And let's close it, reopen, and you are so annexed. So, that's all of my stuff now. Let's just double check. Yep, all I need to do is take out Albania. So, let's justify this war goal here. How long are you going to... 160 days, really? I was I was hoping... Can I? Let's have a quick look here. If I justify against you, will it go a lot quicker? 160 versus 125 days. Eh. It's like six of one, half a dozen of the other. Um, I, I don't even think I'm going to build a bit. You know what, I'm just going to leave that there. I'll wait for the political power to pick back up and I will start the justification against Albania. Seven, come on, five. It's like OCD. Three, one and start. It's like the Allies are so screwed. <laughs> you see what happened to the Axis being in a war against both uh, the Soviets and the Allies? They got wrecked. And uh, now it's going to be the Allies' turn because they're going to be in a fight against what's left of the Axis and the Soviets. Um, victory conditions to the game, not really, I suppose. Like, um, even if you were to go through and conquer the entire world, um, it pretty much just stays yours. Uh, it 
technically counts the end of the game at, uh, I believe it's 1948. Uh, that's usually when it'll pop up with the screen and say, yep, you've won. Or, like, where you rank in the world. Um, if you want, you can keep going. I mean, there are plenty of mods that come along with this game that give heaps of expandability. Um, as you can see for myself, I'm one of these achievement hunters. Having taken out all of these and between all my other playthroughs, I've now clocked nearly, nearly a thousand hours in this game. Um, I think the funny part was that when this game first actually launched, like I was that interested in it, hadn't played any of the Hearts of Iron series before, and um, at the same time I took some leave from work and I spent a solid two weeks playing this game, pretty much from morning till, you know, went to bed. Um, I think I'd clocked up something like uh, 240 hours within like the first two weeks of this game being out. It was, um, <laughs> I'm a little like that sometimes, you know, get a bit of leave from work and it's like game, 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 game. Here's the part that's just not going to go quick enough, waiting for these days to kick over. Yep, take you, and you, you're fine. Again, couldn't care less about any of that industry. Couldn't care what the fleet's doing. That's actually the interesting question. When I annexed them, did I get all of their fleet? Well, some of it. I mean, chances are, you know, a lot of it got destroyed when they were against uh, the war with the Allies. Now I'm really wondering to myself, knowing that this is close, so close to being done, what I'm actually going to have for dinner tonight. <laughs> Probably just take a quick run down to one of the fast food stores so I can get back quickly. Yes, your liberation is near, people. Your liberation and my achievement. <laughs> my liberation from this attempt. <laughs> Well, I'm really glad that um, despite Turkey having a, like Greece having Istanbul as a core state, that I'm not actually having to go to war with them for it. I mean, not that it would really hurt, but it's just one less thing I have to do, which just makes it more satisfying. You know, come to think of it, that may have been what was... Um, screwing up my uh, plans in some of the earlier attempts where I was like, you know, I'm going to stick with Axis for all this time and all that I needed was this little state that was held by Italy. You know, I let, I let them sit around so long, built up massive strength and just couldn't hold against them when I, when I declared war on them. Again, I have absolutely no doubt that I'm going to just roll over the top of Albania. <laughs> like, how many divisions? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, versus my 56. That's like 10 to 1. I suppose one of the other things I could do is, um, maybe as one of the playthroughs, like, show how I, um, play as either... No, I'll, I'll stick with the Belgium. That's what you said asked for. Uh, yeah, I don't care about ahead of time now. It means nothing. <laughs> so, what date of December? 24th. Six days away. Clear war and you're... Really, you had to pop up now? Eh, ahead of time. So what? Come on. 24th, 24th. It's like the day before Christmas, and I'm going to mess up somebody's Christmas. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Your owl, your occupation is right now. Just, yeah, just watch them push right in. And I don't know whether you'll be able to see it from there, because uh, I don't think that the Steam achievements pop up when I... um 
when I uh, stream this, but after all these pop-ups go away, let's pause that, and where is it? It's definitely done. It's I've, I've finally gotten it, so I'm really pleased at that. Where is it? It's like, you want to hide in the list rather than being at the top. I didn't... Yep, there's Huge Slavia. You can see it's now completed. That is that run done. So, just... <laughs> Thanks for sticking around with me, guys. That's all for this episode, folks. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and join me for the next episode coming soon.